let me give you this example here. Um, so here, merge these two fractions. Uh, well, ex express these uh, these two fractions as one fraction. So um, in, in order for us to add or take away fractions, we've got to get the two denominators to be the same. So we don't really care what's at the top here. Um, we only care about this and this. Somehow get them to be the same. So remember, with fractions, you can only times top and bottom by the same thing. So over here, that to get the 14, I know that... Look, look at the 7 and look at the 14. What's in common is actually the number 14. So all I need to do here is times, times, well, I need a 2 here in order to make the 14. Now, uh, if I times it, now, now I need to create a B. Well, so I've got 2B here. And then over here, um, I, I need, well, if you look at this, I, I ultimately will need 14, um, X. B. It, I, I know that's what's uh, what's in co well. It, in order to merge, I just for some reason know it's 14 x b. You, you just have to make up your own your own um, your your own strategy in order to uh, to come up with something like this. So so here I just know for some reason I need to times top and bottom by two b. Well maybe times the two to get uh, times the seven here to get the 14 needed here. And I know that well I'm going to need the x and the b. Uh, so, so well, develop your own technique. So somehow you you got to you got to somehow get the two denominators to be the same. So um so on this side I I know I well I I'm, I'm going to create the fourteen. So in effect I need a one. But when you times one with something here later on we can get rid of the one. Um so so here hang on uh, here I would need to times by one x. But again we we don't need the one because one times x is just x. So on this side, I would just need to times top and bottom by x. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me start again, and then you see what I mean. Now, we got to merge these two fractions. In order for us to um, to merge fractions, we we we've, we've got to uh, have the two denominators to be the same. Here, for remember, develop your own technique. For me, it's uh, I just know this is going to be two b. This is going to be two b. Well, times top and bottom by 2b. Over here, um, I'm going to times uh, top and bottom by just x. Okay. So here it would be, uh, well, hang on. This times this would be uh, 4 times 2 would be 8ab. Uh, 8ab. Okay. Now this times this would be 14bx. Um, so put the the plus in there and now um, 3xy or 3yx it doesn't matter now it's going to be uh, 14bx you see now the two denominators are the same now we can just merge okay so um, so it would be this uh, 14bx and when we merge it would be 8ab plus 3xy Okay, so there we've we've just merged your two fractions together. Okay, now it's your turn. This one's easier. Um, just um, just some somehow get the two denominators to be the same. Okay, so um, so press pause and have a go. Press pause and have a go. So here you've got this fraction here. You want to merge it with this fraction here. So times top and bottom here by e. And on this side, times top and bottom here by C. And then the two denominators will be the same. So, hang on, plus. Um, well, I know this is going to be uh, C, C, E over here. It's going to be E, C. Well, E, C or C, E, doesn't matter. It's, it's like saying 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. Okay. So just, just bear in mind that these two are actually the same denominator. Okay. Um, well, anyway, at the top here, it will be three b. Well, times these two together, it will be three b e x. Okay. Um, I'm I'm just trying to keep it alphabetical. A b c d e f. Blah 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 blah. Well, trying. It's not important, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh, here it's going to be uh three a b c. Okay. Now, now that the uh, two denominators are, are the same, see, uh, we we can merge. So it will be uh, CE or or EC doesn't matter. 
3BEX uh, plus 3ABC. There, you just merge um, two fractions. Okay, I, I will do an. I will give you another example here. Okay, this. Well, we don't really care what's uh, what's on the top here. Uh, we only care about getting the two uh, denominators to be the same. Okay, um, I, I I'm going to times top and bottom here by. Well, I'm going to create a nine. I need to create a nine. Look at the nine and the three. What I know, I'm going to need a nine. So here to to create the nine, I need a three. Again, I know when I'm explaining this, you probably don't understand, but but just develop your own technique. Just just watch and then and then and then try different things for yourself. Okay, so look look at the a here. You've got a to the power of seven a squared here. In order to get them to be the same, I'm going to need a to the power of seven. So I'm going to times this side by uh, by a to the power of of uh, of five. Okay. Um, uh, and then, uh, hang on, let's, let's look at the b. b squared and b to the power of, uh, of uh, 3. So I, I'm going to need, um, over on this side, well, I've, I've only got b squared here, so I'm going to need another b here. Again, um, I know this sounds weird, but just, just, you won't, just develop your own technique here. Okay, so I know that, um, well, I'm going to time, hang on, let, let, let me do this again. Remember this, okay? The 3b and a to the power of 5. So we're, we're times in top and bottom by a to the power of 5 over here, 3b over here. I'm going to clear up everything, so, uh, so hang on. So here, remember, we've got to merge these two fractions, okay? So we are going to times top and bottom by the same thing. Uh, over here, it's going to be 3, uh, 3b, okay? Times top and bottom by 3b. Over on this side, we're, we're going to times top and bottom by, um, by a to the power of 5. Okay, a to the power of 5. Okay, so, um, so this fraction here will become, hang on, will become, uh, well, this thing times 3b. So it will be 12b uh, squared x squared. Okay, because the four times with the three here, and this b here times with this b here. Okay, uh, the denominator, well, three here times with this three here, that would be uh, nine, and then a, well, there's no, we're not, well, a to the power of seven, and then you've got b squared times the b here, so b to the power of three. Okay, plus, now let's look at this here. Uh, remember, it's this here times the, the a to the power of 5. So this will be 3a to the power of 8, b to the power of 5. Um, now this times a to the power of 5. So this would be 9a to the power of 7, uh, b to the power of 3. See, you notice that now the two denominators are the same. Well, w when you are here, the hardest part is figuring out which uh, what you need to multiply this by, okay? So you, you, you just got to develop your own technique. Somehow, somehow get these two denominators to be the same, okay? So here, um, so now that the two denominators are the same, we can, we can merge. So hang on, a to the power of seven, b to the power of three. So this will be 12b squared, x squared, uh, plus Three a to the power of eight, b to the power of five. Okay, so even even though something looks complicated like like this, um, you you can you can actually merge the two. Um, the hardest part is figuring out what you need to times top and bottom by over here, and uh, times top and bottom by over here. That's that's a hard part. Uh, everything else just follows it. Okay.